When I went through Professor Quigley's papers, and uh, of course we found the interview with him uh, that we've already discussed, and if you get the interview, you'll actually hear him talking about these crazy right-wingers who come to him, and they show him that symbol, and they tell him that's the symbol of the Illuminati. And he says, that's not the symbol of the Illuminati. That's been around for 5,000 years. That's the symbol of the, uh, the, the mystery religions of antiquity, and that's what it really is. This is the symbol uh, of the mystery religions of Persia and Babylon and, and, and Egypt. Uh, this goes back to the ancient pagan religions, uh, which are the basis of all modern-day secret societies. And every single one of them ties into this. Now, uh, you recall that we were talking about the Knights Templar. What were the Knights Templar? They were a religious order that in the... Um, Oh, uh, about 1,000, 1,100 went on the Crusades, and they were to guard the temple, or where once it stood, Solomon's Temple, Temple Square, where today uh, the great mosque of Almar is. But there, of course, they came in contact uh, with people who were part of the mystery religions. And they came back to Europe uh, in the 1,200s, and they became the most significant financial force in Europe. They became the bankers of Europe. And using a fractional reserve banking system, uh, all of the monarchies of Europe became indebted to them, just as governments today spend more than they have. So in those days, they spent more than they had, and the Templars dominated what was going on. But, uh, of course, then it was discovered uh, that the Templars were Luciferian, and Jacques de Molay, their leader, uh, was burned at the stake in the early 1300s. Uh, of course, today, the uh, young people who are sons of, of Masons belong to the de Molays, as did uh, Bill Clinton. Let me read again uh, that final statement on page 840 of Morals and Dogma. It was the remembrance of this scientific and religious absolute, of this doctrine that is summed up in a word, of this word, and fine, alternately lost and found again, thus was transmitted to the elect of all ancient initiation. It was this same remembrance preserved, or perhaps profaned, in the celebrated order of the Templars that became, for all the secret associations of the Rosy Cross, of the Illuminati, of the Hermetic Freemasons, the reason for their strange rites and of their signs more or less conventional, and above all, of their mutual devotedness and of their power. What is it about? Well, on page 321 of Morals and Dogma, uh, why uh, Pike lays it right out. Lucifer, the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning, is it he who bears the light and with its splendors intolerable, blinds feeble, sensual, or selfish souls? Doubt it not. Why, it's simply Luciferianism. If you read Manly P. Hall's a book, The Lost Keys of Freemasonry, uh, he's very, very clear what it's about. When the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands. That's what it's all about. It's Luciferianism and manifested in every aspect of our society today. Little wonder they want to take God uh, out of our schools. In a book called Spiritual Politics, written by Corinne McLaughlin and Gordon Davidson, a very important book written by people who are involved in the occult, they will explain to you what it's really all about. And these men belong to the esoteric degrees and are very keen on setting up a one world government or a one world political system and a one world church. Now, <coughs> in the light of the information you've heard, let's now explain the seals on the dollar to you before we go any further. First of all, we notice that the eye in the triangle is the eye of Satan or Lucifer. The 13 layers now refer to the 13 power groups who are setting up the one world government or the new world order. Which of you remember George Bush speaking just prior to the Gulf War? Do you remember? He came on television and he said the words, new world order. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. Where... Then he said again, new world order. The world can therefore seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of a new world order. And then he referred to a thousand points of light. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose. The illumination of a thousand points of light. Bush Senior. I thought to myself, what a strange thing for the President of the United States to be saying. What is the meaning of the words, uh, uh, 
a thousand points of light. And I discovered it means that there are about 1,000 Illumin groups in the world today who are setting up the New World Order. If you think you know the name of the group who is setting it up, there are probably 999 other groups that you do not know about. They are called a thousand points of light. Down the bottom of the seal here uh, of the pyramid you see also the date 1776 in Roman numbers. That is the date May the 1st when the Illuminati was inaugurated, not July the 4th, the Declaration of Independence. What do you know about May the 1st? That is the day when the Communists and the Socialists march all around the world. It is called May Day and the witches are very, very fond of May Day. Did you know that? Witchcraft is very, very fond of May Day. Now we move on. We notice that there are, <laughs> there are two Latin words at the top here. The words are annua chapters, which means announcing the birth of. If you're taking notes tonight, would you write it down please? Announcing the birth of. Down the bottom here the words are Novus Ordo Seclorum. A friend of mine from Johannesburg wrote to Oxford University to get the correct meaning of the word seclorum because it has been variously translated. Oxford University wrote back and I have a copy of their letter. They said the word seclorum is where the word secular comes from. It means secular, heathenistic, ungodly, godless. Secular, heathenistic, ungodly, godless. And the word novus means new and the word ordo means order. In other words, Lucifer, the eye in the triangle, is saying we are announcing the birth of a secular, heathenistic, ungodly, godless, one world government, one world church, one world money system and one world law system or judicial system. These seals are full of mysticism. Now listen to what Manly Hall says. This man is a top Freemason writer and he speaks with authority. This is what he says. I'll read it to you. Not only were many of the founders of the United States government Masons, but they received aid from a secret and august body existing in Europe, which helped them to establish this country for a peculiar and a particular purpose. I'll put that on the board for you. Peculiar. So America was settled for a peculiar and a particular purpose, known only to the initiated few. We can exclusively reveal that George Bush Sr.'s occult name is Magog, which is the name of the evil army commanded by Satan to visit Earth and destroy the Kingdom of Christ. The American Ivy League colleges each have their own branches of the Skull and Bones Brotherhood of Death, indoctrinating the children of America's elite families who go on to become the captains of industry, banking, law, military and the media. The epicenter of this elite cabal is Yale University. The last three presidents attended Yale as did the terrorist expert Paul Bremer III, who governs Iraq for the Bush-Cheney Skull and Bones elite. Members of the Anglo-American Illuminati network also share the same philosophy. They believe in a single all-powerful superstate, which is governed by a single world leader. It is also fascinating that the European Union issued a poster which was posted all over Europe where they had the Tower of Babel under construction. Can you see that? This was posted all over Europe and the stars were upside down representing the goat of Mendes. This is Satanism. This is the new Tower of Babel and uh, the high French politicians said we are building a new Babel which they emphasized with this poster and this time we will succeed. The new Parliament of the European community is built like the Tower of Babel. In fact it has a plaque on the inside or a poster which says precisely this and it has this scaffolding to give the appearance that it is under construction. This is rather arrogant. This is the new European identity card 
And if you look at it at the back and you turn it upside down, what do you see? You see the goat of Mendes. The horns are slightly modified to give another symbolism of the seat of the earth, but uh, the inner facial features of the goat are very clearly discernible. And what these mean over here, I would rather not say. If the Illuminati were successful, and their dream would come true, it would be a virtual hell on earth. That is what the New World Order is all about. It's a living hell. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.